What is up guys? Welcome back. Another brand new anime and I gotta say this anime I love the premise to this series so far. Masamune's Revenge. I like that. I really like the whole MC's motive. I like that he knows he's hot. I like the fact that he knows he could get any girl he wants. But he's not. This guy is literally pretty much Sakamoto-kun, Honda-kun, any MC you could think of that's popular. That's who he is. Every girl loves this guy. By the way, his name is Makabe. Everyone loves him. Everyone. Guys, girls, teachers, everybody fucking loves this guy. But he has yet to show any interest in anyone other than Aki, but for the wrong fucking reason. He tried his best to lose that weight. It's pretty much like kiss him, not me. But instead of Kai literally, you know, losing the weight over having her favorite MC in her anime die, this guy got made fun at by the girl who he loved, calling him a pig's foot. That's, I don't really see the... I don't know why we call him a foot, but I see the pig part when, you know, when he was fat, but I'm not sure why she added foot. Maybe it's because, you know, it's the it's the worst part of the pig. I'm not sure. <laughs> I have no fucking idea, but it's funny. He made it his life goal to get fit, get hot, and get bitches just to get revenge on Aki. And I gotta say, man, I respect that. I really do. Aki, she's a bitch. Like, the way she acts towards everybody, I don't know what's wrong with her, man. I'm sure there's a very, very, very good reason why she's acting so bitchy towards everybody. Even her friend, Yoshino, the little girl, you know, that one that she pretty much bosses around. She treats her like shit. She treats men like shit. So, and guys, it's anime. So the, the reason that she acts like this could be anything. So there's many possibilities out there why she is acting like this. She got cheated on, her mother... Her father died in an accident. She wants to be Pirate King. I have no fucking idea. But it better be a good fucking idea because she's even bossing her friend around. That makes no sense. Like, I have a feeling her friend and her and Aki have been together for a while and yet she treats her like shit. I'm not really sure if there's a good enough reason for her to act like that towards Yushino. So, by the way, about Yushino, I have a feeling she is the one that wrote that um, letter and left it in Makabe's locker, calling him a pig's foot. I have a feeling she knows who he is. I have a feeling like when he was little, when he was fat, she was also around there and witnessed everything happen, you know, with the breakup, with the rejection, with everything. So I'm pretty sure it was Yoshino that wrote that letter. That's what I feel about the characters right now. Um, I love the scene where Makabe saved Aki. That was fucking, that was pretty cool. I give him that. I really do give him that because he planned that out. He knew something like that was going to happen, you know. A girl that cute is going to have stalkers. So he planned that ahead, man. That's what I like about the MC. You know, he's thinking ahead. He's planning everything out. He wants everything to work out perfectly so he could dump that bitch's ass clean. And that's what makes it kind of funny, too, because she's known for dumping people. And now it's like she's trying to do to her what she's good at. I like that. I do. So Makabe saves her. And that instantly already, like, like her heart went boom, boom. Like, she's already in love with him. That's why I gotta bring out the negatives right now. Because I feel like this will, even though I like the premise, the premise is gold. I really do love the premise. I feel like it's gonna be cliche. I feel like it's gonna be the same tropes over and over like we've seen in millions of anime. One of the things I hate about this anime is that it's a harem. It's not Kiznaiver. It's not working. It's not real life. You know, those shows... They had more than one male character. You get me? I just don't like the fact that he's the only male, male character in the whole series. You get me? Even the trap looks like a female. Even though that's the purpose of a trap. But still, like, the trap. I will never see him as a guy. I'm just saying that, man. You could say he's a guy. You, you could say, oh, like, I said this thing a long fucking time ago when I first started this whole channel. If it looks like a girl, sounds like a girl, and acts like a girl, it's a fucking girl, alright? Kujiro is a fucking girl. They could say that he's a man just because someone said it. Oh, he's a boy. Really? 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 Just because someone says he's a boy and she acts completely like a fucking girl. 
I'm gonna say that she's a she's a boy. That makes no fucking sense. That makes no fucking sense. If it's a fucking duck, and someone says it's a cow, you're not gonna think it's a fucking cow, are you? No, no, no. Nobody's that stupid. Kujiro is a fucking girl. They can say anything they want, but she's a fucking girl. I'm not attracted, but she's still a fucking girl. There. Case closed. Can't you at least give him a comedic friend? You know, like in this, okay? You know, g give us another fucking male. Because realistically, he's he's the that's not possible. He's the only fucking male in the whole school. You know, that just makes no sense. But that's one thing I don't like about the series. The second thing I don't like about the series is the fact that what the fuck is up with the lollies? His mother is a fucking lolly. I thought it was a joke. I thought that was um, his younger sister until she said ma. I'm like, what? What is up with the fucking lollies in this season, man? Lollies are taking over. And it's only a matter of time before, you know, they appear in every fucking anime. So, I guess we gotta get used to it. Um, even, even though that's not a good enough reason to hate the show, I'm just joking around. But, yeah, I just don't like the fact that it's a, it's a harem. I have a feeling it's gonna be really, really cliche. Um, but it's good enough for me, at least, that I want to continue watching just because of the awesome premise. I want to see this plan unfold to the end. I want to see if he's actually gonna go through with this plan or he's gonna actually fall in love with her again because that's a huge possibility also so this anime man even though it's a harem I will make an exception because normally if it's a harem I would literally just drop it unless there's something different about it you know like in kiss him not me it's a reverse harem Akatsuki no Yon it's action it's a fierce strong female lead but for right now, man, for the first episode, it wasn't great. I love the premise. That's pretty much it. And the MC. Those are the only two things I love so far. I don't hate Aki. Even though I call her a bitch, I don't hate her. Like I said, she has her reasons. I'm sure she has a good reason. But for treating Yoshino like a like like a servant, that, that, that makes no sense to me at all, man. That's her friend. So. so I would recommend to watch at least the first episode of this anime because... Even though there's some negatives, there's some positives, it's very, the premise is different. It's different. I have not seen something like this in a, quite a while when it's all about revenge. The MC could get any girl he wants, but he specifically aims at Aki just to make sure she could break her heart in a devastated fashion. Just for that premise alone, I recommend people to watch this. If you love um, romances, harems, I hate harems, but if you love harems, go watch this. The comedy, it's hit or miss, honestly. The, the, I only laughed like once, and that's when um, he saw the spider, he freaked out. I thought he was gonna land on top of her, grab her tits. That didn't happen, so that was actually a plus. So, yeah, the comedy's not really there. But again, it's a romance, and it's for the premise. That's all you're gonna watch it for, and for the MC, because the MC's pretty fucking cool. So if you like anything that I said about the series, go ahead and watch it, because it's definitely gonna be probably a standout when it comes to new anime for this season. So, yeah. Leave me your thoughts down below, because I got to go, guys. Agree or disagree? I guess we'll have to see. I'll see you guys in the next video. Saya, nada.